I don't usually take patients until I sit with them and have a one-on-one -on -one talk. Find out some things. Get to know them real good, said the doctor. She did not break her stare as she talked. That's all right with me. I'm ready to talk. I've been working for this day for over a year. And I can't believe I actually can fit in this chair. She smiled, twisting her body from side to side. I can move around without getting stuck. That's amazing. The surgeon studied her. The weight loss was tremendous. She should be proud. Dr. Cobra Dillon spoke. How many pounds have you gotten rid of with that lap band procedure? 118, the woman smiled. Wasn't sure I'd make it in the beginning, but I did. Any complications? Setbacks with the procedure? She asked, thinking of the band that was placed around the top of the woman's stomach, which created a small pouch that reduced the functional size of the organ and limited the amount of food intake. The pouch could fit comfortably and hold only a half a cup of food, which vastly cut the caloric intake. The average stomach could hold six cups of food, but the stomach of overweight individuals could hold far more. Has the band been removed? Asked Dr. Cobra Dillon. No, the doctor wants to monitor my eating habits. I'm still seeing a dietitian. I have to maintain my eating patterns. Did you find that hard to do? At times, but I'm determined. I've planned. That's why I'm here today. She smiled, opening a file on the desktop of the black tablet resting in her lap and flipping past digital photos until she reached the one she was searching for. The reason I'm here today is because now that the weight is off, she said a little self-consciously, I need you to get rid of this. The young woman touched the dangling skin under her chin. I can't start a new life with all of this. We can do that said the surgeon. How much do you want me to alter your face? Change my face? No, not that, doctor. I want to look the way I'm supposed to look, she said, looking at the computerized picture on her screen. She enlarged the image of an attractive blonde woman with a well-endowed figure, large breasts, ample butt, and legs. This is who I'm supposed to be, she said, handing over the tablet to the doctor. The plastic surgeon did not reply, but took it and viewed the image of a young woman. As she did so, the computerized device sounded and received an email. Somebody sending you a message, said Dr. Cobra Dillon. Oh, it's just my boyfriend. He's always sending me messages, she said confidently. He can wait. As I was saying, that is a picture of me. I went to a forensic artist. I gave him dozens of photos of me so that he could create a digital composition of what I looked like when I lost the weight. So that is really me, she said, smiling. Dr. Cobra Dillon gave a rewarding smile in return and continued to scrutinize the digital image. You are a very ambitious woman, she congratulated as she touched the screen to survey other images before and after pictures. She explored the entire file. I know what I want. I've been dealing with weight issues my whole life, watching other women's dreams come true while I wait for my life to change. No more. I'm going after what I want, and it starts here. Then you come to the right surgeon, said Dr. Cobra Dillon, handing the tablet back to the woman. I can even improve the image of the woman you're holding in your hand. The other woman's smile broadened. I do not have a problem with that. Do your best. I intend to, but first, I want to make two appointments for you. One for a psychiatrist here at the hospital. I know you've seen someone because of the gastric procedure you've undergone, but I value second opinions, always have, so I insist. And then I want to see you back here in my office three weeks from today. How does that sound? It sounds like a dream come true, she smiled, standing up with ease and reaching across the desk to shake Dr. Cobra Dillon's hand.